All right. Um, today I'm going to show you how to sharpen a chain. Now these chainsaws are 404 chains. They're not 38, so you need a you need um you need a five and a half mil file. These are only raker files. We're not going to touch the rakers. So put them back. Gonna need a glove. What you do is, is this is the gold, this is a Husqvarna one, as you can see, 404. What you do is you put it on here, like that. And we're going to get our file, and what you've got to do is, is we've got to line the file up, so the angle of the whole setup is like that. You want to keep it even across. And what we do is, we have one, two, three, four, Move on our next two. And you gotta make sure you keep them even when you're doing it. The reason why if you don't keep these even when you go to cut your wood you don't want to you know cut an angle like you know instead of it being straight it'll be you're cutting all funky which is no good because it'll be running off very important that you know you're doing it five times this side we've got to do exactly the same on the other side too you can't you, you know what I mean you don't want to stuff this up so you've got to count your strokes and make sure they're always exactly
back to the other side. So what we do is turn the chain around. And I'll get set up. It's going to be a bit hard because I normally lean over when I do this. And also when you cut your wood, you hit, make sure you don't go hitting any rocks with it. Because um, the rocks will blunt it and you'll be instantly so you keep away from rocks. at all times. A lot of people um, shut up in the chains and that differently. This is just how I do it. What a shout out I've got to do another chain yet. This other Husqvarna. What I've got here. And um, once you shut your chain up, you um, want to check your tension in the chain. So this one's alright, it's not too bad. It's a little bit loose, I will tighten that up. I'll fill it up with oil. I'll put some petrol in it. That should be ready to go again. These are the chains I've been running. chains on these saws 24 inch they are I think the chain cost 27 bucks a rich price on them always carry them um, a couple of chains with me at all times in the little toolbox I've got here got two brand new chains and um, just yeah I always carry my tools I've got the rakers and more files and you know bar oil and everything and um, I found that these are a good chain, and like now, this is um, nice and sharp. It's good. Um, they make different brands. I found these chains, I can cut a ute and trail a load of wood with it, which I've got some fresh wood here. You can 
can see. Just cut that wood. And um, yeah, I can normally cut a, a ute and trailer and um, without sharpening. Beside you don't hit nothing. If the wood's a bit barky, like you know, it's pretty thick bark, it will blunt the chain a bit, make it a bit dull. But if you don't drive it into the dirt and you don't hit rocks with it, you can I can normally get a, a ute and trailer load of wood out of without sharpening and it still it'll still cut all right even after that. So these chains, these longer chains are quite quite tough. Like the teeth don't go dull, but if you do hit rocks with it or anything like that, like you know, your day's over, she's time to quick to put another chain on and um yeah do that because you don't want to be sharp right when you're getting wood because when you if you hit something it's going to take you a while to sharpen it because you probably have to do these tooth these teeth on the chain you could have to sharpen them 15 20 times each on both sides and um if the chain runs off if you go when you're cutting wood if the chain runs off like if the chain runs off to the right like if it, if you go and, you're cutting wood and you know, say it wants to keep on cutting like that, like you know, go at an angle, to, like it wants to cut to the left, take some more off the um, the right side, the opposite side it's cutting off on. Like say, say it's cutting off to the left, you take in, you you fold this side, the right side of the chain, on here like you know 10 times and just file the other side five times and then go and cut again and see how it goes in until you get the straight you might have to do that a couple of times you might have to file it you know 10 times on the right side but only file it you know five times on the left don't go filing it both like you know the same amount of times when it's running off but if it's not running off just make sure you file it you know always give it five goes each on each tooth on both sides as you've seen and um yeah and to if you want to um, make it bite a bit better you just file these rakers just the tops of them they're easy to file i can uh, give you a demonstration now before you do it you get the little file all you do is get this little rake file here and um you just file it crossways i normally file them about five times each but I don't need I don't really try and uh, file them too much because if you take too much off the rake is when you go to cut the wood the chainsaw will wanna really you know be taking big chips and it will um have a bit of a risk of kicking back in your face too if you take it down too much because it'll be trying to take that much trying to cut that much wood at once that you know any like it's hard to explain until if you've taken the chain down too far the rake is yourself and you've actually felt it you know what it will do you know what i mean you have to really experience it but if you do take them down be warned that you know if you take grind them off too far like you know you will um get some big kickbacks with it especially with a big chainsaw you know it might sound silly but you know kickbacks are dangerous and that's why you don't want them that's why they put these rakers on there to think kickbacks it's the whole purpose of them and um yeah and just be safe with your chainsaw keep the maintenance up make sure you keep on you know checking your bar and your chain tension and that and um yeah and uh stick around for the next part and i'll actually show you how to cut down a tree and i'll show you how i cut up a tree too i'll um do that in the next video what you see you'll see me do that i'll um Show you how to fall it, what trees to look for and that. Well, everywhere is different where you live, so obviously the wood we're on getting at the moment is going to be different wood to where, you know, other people live. Like, you could have gum or, you know, if you're in America and that, you've got different timbers. What you get cut and burned compared to what Australia's got. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And um, have a great day. And this chainsaw is a, is a 288. That's cool, 1980 something it is, 1988 or something I think. They're both 288. Got a pair of This one's got the the larger air filter on there and this one's got the standard air filter. They don't make no difference with the air filters if you change them. This is just more for looks I think. I've um, used both of these and I've did I've 
I've did a muffler model on too. I've took the screens out of them. The um on both of them. I've taken the screens off them as well, so they breathe easy. It doesn't restrict them. Gives them more go to it. And um yeah. That's it.